Hello there, the Fable Harpooner here, ready to hunt another Uragan monster. Weapon class this time is the Sword and Shield, and the weapon of choice is one of the upgrades to the Sector Nullor. As you can see, I'm wearing the Volpidum armor set, one of the other Blade Master armors early on that you can acquire with tremor resistance, although its uh, gunner counterpart does not come with uh, tremor resistance. Need to take that into account. Only the Diablos gonna set has it so far, as so far as I can, I've seen. So, weapon craft, great weapons, and we're upgrading it into the Sector Uno. Cheaper than the Sector Nulo G, although it becomes available much later on as it requires Diablos fangs. So, I don't know. Virginia do, there's no real different sharpness. I would say Sector Uno is a slightly more has more slightly more green sharpness. Doesn't come with a slot though and then doesn't have any elemental or paralysis well status effect on it. Compared to the Nulo on itself, it's uh yeah, double the green sharpness, a bit of extra raw, so it's an okay weapon. At least raw wise. Stage. This all seems to be mostly a high rank one. Quality sec. That's probably a high rank outer or something like that. So yes, that's the weapon of choice. Skill wise, got speed gather, evasion plus one, heat cancel, tremor resistance, and attack app. It's a nice arm set, really. It has a nice amount of skills that can be useful, especially tremor resistance in this case, attack app, extra raw damage. Heat cancel, volcano, so it's great, good, great. Evasion, I think I'm going to be using this a bit more. It should be useful in rolling out of the gas attacks when you're close to it. And well, cold surge. No, volcano is not a cold area, so I don't really need to concern myself about training stamina faster because of it. Or losing stamina. Items wise, so well, not much. Bring in one barrel bomb L. Should I just bring pluses instead? Well, it depends on what I get on the food, in the food, with the food. Hey, meal. Come on, there need, needs to be more fresh items. Okay, not sure what I can get here. Defender. Hi. What about the sharpness thing? Problem is they're both not fresh, so it's not that great. Fire starter that can be useful actually. Although the Volvid on arm set is resistance to fire, so maybe not so much. So I could go for heavy tuner, which will give me extra health much more than with meat. Defense. And I could go for a defender high. Of course, why not? Just checking on the recording, see if everything going okay, seems so. So let's head out. Volcano's Fury once again. I was considering, considering bringing boomerangs to hit the tail at moments that the sword and shield can't reach. But I'm not sure if that's that necessary. I didn't get pyro, so hmm, the chin's going to be a bit harder. I might trust. Just try shield bashing the chin at the very start. Might even get a knockout. I guess that wasn't necessary to take that early, but doesn't matter. So, gathering. Any Herkodromes this time? Not so far. Flash bags. 
and kill a beetle, and that's it. Man, they're hard to gather, find. And again, at least low rank. So I don't need cool drinks, so I'm going to switch straight to paint. See if any rocks. All this one rock. I'm going to go for it early on. I always bump up, bump into the chin like that. Well, not always, but most of the time. So let's try to dash in away, fleeing from the monster. I'm using the old pickets. Oh, I'm trying to be good. Did I get oh, nice a rush yard in the lot? That's good. Now we can hunt. So let's move. Oh, don't need to paintball again. I already did. Oh. Oh, yeah. Tail. Careful with the tail when it swings after a roll. That's it, will most likely hit you if you are on its. Uh, right side. Ooh, careful. So if I do... Nope, missed the chin. I probably could hit it more if it goes for the slams, but if it keeps rolling it's going to be a bit harder. I tried to hit the chin prematurely and got hit myself from by the, his chin. Or its chin. Ooh, bashing seems to have a long recovery time. If you only go for a single bash, you have fault, and a chin swipe. I might end up exhausting it with this method and maybe breaking the chin in the meantime as well. I'm not sure how much more damage you would do if you tried to use the cut in damage. Because I do believe that the bashing has reduced damage over the cutting, but since impact damage does affects its chin a bit more, careful. We need to analyse it to see which one is better. But it's for breaking the chin. Again, this is a perfect time to be bashing it. Ooh, even a flinch. Nice. Might get the break. The break. Before I even let's go for a few cuts and get hit anyway. Let's get the damage there. Bit too far. Didn't reach it with the bashing. So yes, shield bashing its chin, it's really easy because it's low and exposed. Pretty much an easy target, much more easier than with most other monsters. It's even exhausted already. And there's a knockout. Then I've got to go for the tail while it's knocked out. Oh yes, bashing still consumes or drains sharpness, so don't think that you're going to be saving on it when you do. It's moved away, so that's nice. I guess I could still use the bombs here. Yeah, the bombs, as I last did, or I did last time. They're great for flinching it out when it's eating. Again, tail cutting is best done on the softer side. Wow. All that last combo missed. Time to go for the chin again. Maybe I get the break this time. If 
for that mess. We can stay away from that. Oh, it's exhausted, I can't do anything. Yes, you can combo the shield bashing into standard slashing attacks. But I'm not interested in the slashing right now to do the impact. To go the roundhouse slash. Again, these are perfect times because I have tremor resistance, so I don't need to worry about that. Just keep enough distance so it doesn't hit you with actual damage, get box. And just slam away with the shield. Did I roll through that roar? Or was, was that a roar that didn't. Ooh. Sun just turn around. I'm not sure because I don't have a hearing protection here, and its roars are supposed to stun you. Maybe that was one that doesn't, because sometimes they can use basic roars that don't stun you. Stay away from that chain slamming. Chin slamming is one of the moments you also want to be going for the tail, because it lowers it. That's doing the animation. Careful with the rock door, nice. Another flinch. Careful, it's gonna swipe. Locked in time. You could also slam the rocks, but <laughs> that will set them off in there. Uh, Will shoot damage. Yeah, for me. Oh, away from the rock. And another couple of hits. Although I don't want it to be near the lava at this stage. It's supposed to be near knockout. Oh boy. Ah, rolled and tried to block backwards, but didn't come out of the roll in time, so I got here anyway. Nice. Can I? No, not close enough to the chin. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't think I have much choice. Either I would take the slam or get hit by the explosive rocks. Maybe the rocks were a better option. Hey! Son of a gun. Managed to roll right into me that last turn. Out, wrong. Move, set. Wanted to jump on the tail. Sharpen again. And probably heal up a bit as well. So some of those rolls over me. Taking a bit too much damage. Okay, that rock just gonna. Well, survive the slam by the looks of it. It's rolling away, but it's not going too far. Interesting. It was exhausted, so I would have expected it to go to four. What do you know with this creature? The point of the tail, which is armoured, is your best target as a sword and shield because it's the lowest point. It in the middle parts, it's a bit harder, and it does this. Although you do need to catch it when it's slamming down. Just gonna swipe again, fling off rocks. That's another flinch. I'm probably doing less than actual damage with the shield bashing than if I'd used a slice jump in. Right. Always on the wrong side of the tower. This happened. Hey, it's broke. That's nice. Should be close to cutting then. Or at least closer. Oh, what's right below it? Again, apparently 
the two chains after the roar don't actually hit you if you get hit by the roar. It's a bit confusing. Okay, we'll just roll more than that. And now uh, knock out. Still no break. Really happy about that. Then let's go for the tip. a nice set of fits to the tail, not the best combo, but decent enough. I'm not going to go for another knockout, I'm probably going to do damage now to try to finish it off. Lock that one in time. Completely. Trying to do jump attacks on the chin. Oh, I'm missing horribly. And it's going to roll. This is pretty much the only area they can do it at. So let's see which side it goes down first. It's going down to the right, should spin to left, then back. Right. Oh no, that tricked me. I thought. Oh, they spiced it up a bit, I suppose. Okay, that's no damage for breaking. It's great for killing, but. If I want the breaks. Oh, sharpness has gone as well. Didn't realise that. Could have sharpened while it was rolling. No matter, still managed to pull off a decent sharpening. Sharpening. And that chin is hard. I blocked that one nicely. Nice glitch. Let's go for the tail, even though I badly positioned here. Ah, did a bad combo and didn't get the full damage out. It's moving away by the looks of it. Although I wouldn't mind if it dies there at 5, there's a great mining spot. Would have been nice if I got the flinch just there, or the break, and flinched it before I rolled. Nope, wanted to jump. Still instead unseat into a block. Yeah, having a shield, if you have a high enough health and defense capabilities, you can just block the rolls and cause it to trip over. Well not trip over, let's just stumble. would want to, yes. I should be using the barrel bomb, shouldn't I? Even though they're not upgraded. That was a bit stupid of me, knowing that I would get hit anyway. Get this chin broken already. Can't be too far off, can it? Ooh, yeah, if I nearly hit the rock there. Close the rock. And it's raging. Oh, got caught by the second slamming attack. Gonna need to heal again. It's straining some of my life. All of them. Heal by Church and Gayamba. One of them, or both. 
Ah, didn't roll in time. Nice slam. Come on, break already. Okay, nice cha cha, good try. At least I was going for the chin. They're all going for the chin. Maybe they get it like last time. And the others breaks it. Might as well take a rush in here. Okay, doing a swipe. I'm going back to Bastion because I'm not sure what is what is doing more damage. Slice into the chin or shield Bastion the chin. Oh, tried to bash it too early. Well, at least it's sorted again. I might try to use the bombs. Let's see. Oh, what? That was not necessary, I suppose. Hey, cat. Wrong button. Cutting the tail this time. Oh, ouch. And it rolls into lava. At least it recovers somewhat soon when it does so. Let's go for the legs for the time being. Trying to get second roll. Oh! Walked into the spout. It's moving away again. Should sharpen here as well. How much time did it have gone by? Ooh, reaching the 20 minute mark. Either it's close to death or I'm going to take longer because I just was bashing the chin for too long. Okay, roll out of that. Roll a bit more. Although it wasn't limping, so it's probably going to take me more than 20 minutes. And probably because of all the bashing. It's not that damaging, even though that achieves knockouts pretty easily. Again, stay away from the effects of that. Don't like it when you just go past the monster when you're trying to do a combo. And the combo ends out being performed outside of the monster's hitbox. Careful. Okay, was close out of it. it in between its legs in the proper way it would do damage. Oh boy, can I block this? Yes, I can block it was facing the right way. Can you block that out? Okay, let's try to lure it out of there. Don't want to be fighting too close to the lava like that. It's such a tight spot, I suppose. It's not really roomy enough. Is it moving away again? No. It looked like that because we're going after Charger and then turn around. Well, we've got a limping. Okay. So yes, probably already gone over the yeah, just about to go over the 20 minute mark. Don't stand there, come on. Well, might not get the tail cut. If I do, I'll just Barely to manage it. And for our damage, don't really care about taking damage myself. That was the best ideal spot to do cutting damage. Then someone kills it or we'll slam it. Okay, well, didn't go too far over the 20 minute mark. Just a few seconds, half, nearly half a minute over. Now tail cut. Probably would have been easier with a boomerang or if I just focused and ignored the chin. 
At least I've got the brakes though. Both tail brake and tail and chin brake. Which is always good. Didn't kill it where I wanted to kill it at five. Even though it was there for a moment. Not that it was it was a large okay amount of rocks, but not really worthwhile rocks. Rocks I'm looking for. Some of even this spawn, but it's about three, two here, and one there. But they're all standard ones. Well, I did get a uh, rush item at the beginning, so let's see what that turns into. Maybe something good. Hopefully something that I don't have. Rewards. Got a couple of lava nuggets. Oh, it's four each, actually. Bit of scoot, shell, mystery charm, not taking in the husk elves, armor sphere, a couple of more mystery charms, and yeah, ignoring all the husks. Shell, and more lava nuggets. Anything worth? Well, doesn't look like the weapon is anything good. Match slices, now it's a basic dual blade weapon. Tremor resistance plus five. I think I already have one that's the same amount. That's good. Might have snow. Probably have a better one. It's plus two. Normal shot plus five. Again, same business. Probably have a better one. Or at least a similar one. So, this has been the Fabled Arpuna, handing an Uragan with the Sword and Shield weapon class, and the weapon of choice, the Sector Unu. Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, and good hunting.